Okay, let's do sloka 39. Deva datta swayam gachet. Deva datta swayam gachet. Vam bichaswa swayam tatha. Vam bichaswa swayam tatha. Aham swayam nashak no me. Aham swayam nashak no me. Itchevam loke prayudjati. Itchevam loke prayudjati. So here he is looking at what's the common usages. Devadatta ha swayam gachet. So Devadatta is swayam gachet. He himself is going. So when we say Devadatta ha swayam gachet. Say so he, Devadatta himself is going. So Devadatta is going in one aspect. But Devadatta himself is going. So the self as though is reflected pronoun. The himself, is self on the on. Is being used to indicate and emphasizing it is Devadatta that is really going. So Devadatta swayam gachi. Tvam vichaswa swayam yatha. So you are, yourself should see. Tvam vichaswa. So yourself should see. Not by any other, but you have to yourself to see the truth. Otherwise, other people seeing will not help you. So, here you yourself have to see. You you should see is one thing. You yourself is emphasizing that as as the as the self that you are has to see. So you and yourself, there are two things are mixing together. One is reflection, another is you, you the real, real pronoun. Aham swayam na shaknomi. I myself do not have the capacity to do. Shaknomi na shaknomi. I don't have the capacity. I myself cannot do. Hey, can you lift this one? So I myself cannot do. It's too heavy. So when I use the words, these are common usages that he is giving example, three examples. So Devadatta himself going or yourself you are seeing or I cannot lift myself iti evam in this way loke prayujyate loke prayujyate in this way the common usage is in the world so commonness that means in the common world the self that I am is mixed with ahankara that I am together is being used in the in that without recognizing the two or getting mixed up that's what he says so common two factors are the the reflecting pronoun and the other pronoun are mixed together when I say I myself cannot do it you yourself cannot do it so individually pointing oneself at the same time there is a self involved and these two are real and unreal part that's what he's trying to emphasize here Yasvayivas Puranam Sadatmakam Asatkalpartakam Basate is from the Darshanamurti Stotra. So, Asatkalpartakam, so it is as though Kalpana of Asat is being on the reality. That's what the Shankara is emphasizing in that. So, this is an analysis of Adhyasa that we went through. It's now, he's giving more. Uh, Illustrative examples. Idam ropya midam bastram. Idam ropya midam bastram. Iti yad vidam tadha. Iti yad vidam tadha. Yad vidam tadha. Asautvam aham itcheshu. Asautvam aham itcheshu. Sayam itcha bhimanyate. Ayamitya bhimanyati. So, Is gone. 
No, it's okay. So it's on, it's on. I think it's on. Okay. Are you? <laughs> Good. <laughs> okay. So, idam rupya idam vastram. So, idam 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 that we are using in every object that I see. This is a chair. This is a table. So, this is part is always mixed with the the samanya part is mixed with the visista part, chair, table, and all that. So, that is true in every object. So, this is part is coming from the truth, and other thing is only. Oh, apparently true this is means it exists existence part is coming from and these two are mixed together in every perceptual knowledge and same way asau tvam aham he she you are it every living being identified i am i am in from everybody there is i am part plus this part this part is i am this 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 he is this 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 so this this parts which are a system which is a uh, different from each object that is each person is different qualifications of each person is different but in every one there is a consciousness i am when he says so that is common part which is samanya part so i am iti abhimanyate so that's how the samanya and this is all always go together and ontologically they are of different degrees of order so we have to use discriminative intellect to separate i am part and this part and ahankara is always i am this so is in the ahankara i have to separate using ahankara i have to separate the combination that's a pun difficult part that's how the uh, i am himself himself that's how the shankara also starts with the adhyasava ishma dashmat pratyay gocharayo so your ness minus and all that are coming from the the differentiation visista swabhav so all those visista parts are all coming from the ego parts and in each one there is a adhyasa superimposition of real and the unreal part अहम ताजता कूटस्ते ते न कि तव कूटस्ते ते न कि तव स्वयं शब्दात वैशा शब्दात वैशा कूटस्थ मे भवे so aham tvat aham tvat means aham tat tvat means the word meaning of aham so that satvam the word i am part the real part and the hankara part both are mixed together inseparably cognitively because they are of not of the same order therefore i am so and so when i say i am part and which is subject and this part which is object or mixed together always in the in the ahankara because when i say i am this 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 only so this this is an object for me even for me as an object so i am mixing the subject and object and confusion is coming because i do not know who i am therefore i am this and in this the aham tvad vidyatam swatvam so that which is to be understood here separately vidyam means you have to separate it not physically but intellectually i have to separate using a viveka gnanam that is discriminative intellect of what is samanya what is that which is eternally present all the time that which is changing part and i have to use that as the intellectual cognition to separate i am the brahman part and the other one is a changing part that is the mitya part and kuta stete na kim tava so so kutasta in the pure consciousness these two are together so what do i get achieve kim tava means what am i going to achieve out of this so swayam sabdarth ye vaisha kutastam iti ve sabdade so swayam when i say sabdartham in the word meaning of swayam in the self these two are together all the time so i have to use the discriminate to intellect to own myself what i am and not what this is because this is an object and i am not an object i am a separate 
I am a subject, not an object. So I cannot objectify this subject because I am always a subject and everything else is this, 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 which is I am conscious of. And therefore, what I am conscious of is different from me, the self. And therefore, Swayam Sabdhartha, I mean, when you say I am, I am, and I am talking about this Ahankara is getting mixed up with it. And I had to use this in order to separate what is the real part and what is unreal part. That's called Nitya Anitya Vastu Vivekatvam is required. And how do I do it? By developing how to discriminate it by sadhana. And this is not a discrimination, separation is not physically, but I had to intellectually do it. And for that only I need a Chitta Suddhi, all other qualifications of the mind is required to be able to do this discrimination all the time when I am transacting with the world because they are always together and they are inseparable. And the funny part is I had to use the Ahankara to separate the Ahankara. <laughs> because I am, who is doing it? I am, who is the one? Who is the one? Is, is the one Ahankara only has to do. So Ahankara has to say that I am not Ahankara. <laughs> that is the the most difficult part. That's why self realization is difficult. Even if like say, oh, I have realized. Who has realized? Is another Ahankara? So that's problem also. So realized person doesn't claim that I have realized only because of this problem. Not that he has realized. You remember the Keno Upanishad statement? I understood. At the same time, he may think that teacher may misunderstand his statement. Not that I understand it as an understanding, as an object, but I understood as I understood as a subject itself. But how can I say? I have to tell you that I understood. So that is the babbling of a, of a jnani. Okay. So here is an objection because now we are talking about a very Vedantic text of higher order. So Vijayaranya is bringing out some of the objections that are raised by Nayayikas and uh, Nyaya Vaisheshikas, uh, the other, other philosophers. And here is one objection that he raises. This is how our discussions are. We raise the objection, that called Puropaksha, and Siddhanta analyzes so that we won't get that kind of objections. Even if we get it, we have answers to it. And that's the reason why we study all the objections and the counter objections and the counter Siddhantas and all that. Okay. Anyatvavarakam svatvam Anyatvavarakam svatvam Ichichet anyavaranam Ichichet anyavaranam Kutastha svatmatam vaktuhu Kutastha svatmatam vaktuhu Ishtame vahitad bhavet Ishtame vahitad bhavet So here the objection is, sir, when you say, I am, and you are already separating other things which you are not. Right? Because when everybody says, I am, this, 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 and therefore I am not that, that, that. So ego, ahankara involves not only claiming what I am, also separating what I am not. And I want that also is mine. That's a different story. So all my struggles in life is trying to make other one also as a part of me. So this inclusion automatically in, involves exclusion so here is an objection say you say that is all pervading reality that pure consciousness in the process you are excluding when i say i am and this and this is you are not you are excluding this includes everything else because everybody is other people are only this only for me is an object for me i am only the subject from your point you are the only subject from every one point it's only one is a subject everything else is because i don't see your consciousness i don't see even see your mind also thank god i don't see your mind i only see your body but body is also another object for me so therefore for me in the neti neti i am excluding everything and in the process is how can it be pure all-pervading consciousness, you say I am all-pervading infinite, by the very exclusion you are limiting yourself. That's what uh, the objection is. So, anyatva varakam, anyatva varakam is meant for, so essentially by denying anyatva, by varakam means by denial of this is not me, you are limiting yourself as I am only this. 
Iti chet anya varanam. So iti chet, if that is the case that you are saying, if, if the negation of other, anya varanam, if negation of everything else, you are limiting yourself. So how can you be infinite? Kutasyam syat atmataham bhaktuhu. So, so how can this be kutasya chaitanyam which is changeless, infinite, all that you know, bhaktuhu. You say, if you say that, I say, no problem. We have no problem. Let it be so. Because what I am excluding in the process is not the reality. What I am excluding is iti neti neti neti. What I am excluding is superficial, superimposed falseness only in the quota in the quota of thumb. I am including this is part in everything. That is part is self part in every object. That is Aitatma Yudagam Sarvam Tat Satyam Sa Atma Sa in the Shandogya, say Aitadatm Idagam Sarvam, in this Idagam Sarvam, Idam Sarvam, in every Idam, 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 there is thisness, 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 which is the, the existence part is there, and that is Tat Satyam and Saatma Svetaketu, that is what you are. So, what I am excluding is in the Atma, Anatma part is I am excluding. An Anatma is part is not real, it's only superimposed Nama Rupatmakam, that's only names and forms but this is no substantive i am excluding the ring and the bangle and the necklace but i am considering only gold everywhere so when i say it is not the ring it's not the bangle it's not in not that i am excluding removing gold and gold in the process i am considering the gold but only i am rejecting the nama rupatpakam that is essentially all the world is so say vijarana says if you think that's an objection we have no problem that's what we also want we want Atma Anatma Viveka Vichara is required of which we reject the Anatma because Anatma is Mithya. So Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithya. So Mithya means only superficial false superimposition on the Atma. So we have no problem in that. So essentially the objection has been overruled. That's Sloka 43. Swayam Atmeti Pariyayo Swayam Atmeti Pariyayo Tena Loke Tayo Saha Tena Loke Tayo Saha Prayogo Nastyata Satvam Prayogo Nastyata Satvam Atmatvam Chanya Varakam Atmatvam Chanya Varakam so here he is saying Swayam and Atma, Swayam Atma Iti Pariyayo. So in the Pariyayam, Pariyayapad means in the word that we are using, common word, Swayam Atma Iti. Swayam is Swas, the self part and Ahankara part. Here Atma is talking about the Ahankara part. Both are meaning the same thing, but we are using in a different contextually without knowing it. So Tena, because of this loke in the world, Tayo saha prayogaha nasti. So therefore, it's the word. Those two things are not directly used together because they are don't mean. They mean the same. The self and I am both are same. So people don't say I myself didn't do it. Don't have to use that comes. I myself cannot do it. Just now he gave examples. Devadatta himself went. You yourself did it. I myself saw. All those, we don't use it, I saw, we will say, because I include myself automatically. So the self part is included in my transactional world as I am, I am is implied. So therefore, lokaha in the, in the transactional world, we don't separate these two. Prayogo nasti, nasti ataha swatam atmatvam cha anyavarakam. So in the prayoga, in the usage of this, in the common usage, so this word, these two together are there, but we don't, they are implied the same meaning. But people misunderstand when I say I am, they don't really mean Atma as a self, because that is covered due to avidya part, because to ignorance I do not know my true nature, but I take myself, I am only this. So everybody, nobody will ask who am I? Because they know that they know what they are already. Nobody will say, do you know who I am? <laughs> so people take it granted that they know who they are and they want to know everything else. 
That's what the whole education is, is trying to find out this, this, this aspects only, not I am aspect of it. Because they assume that I know myself, therefore I want to know everything else. But in the process, without knowing that they are using I am, they don't know that that really corresponds to the pure existent consciousness that I am. That is Kutastha Chaitanyam. So, Atmatvam Chanyavarakam. So, it is essentially, it is, even though it is implied, people don't use it in the in the world because of ignorance only even when you know the knowledge you can use for transactional purposes for transacting i should say i still say what's your name so you know i don't have a name i don't have to say i have to tell for immigration purposes i think i have to write down name and form even though i'm a gnani i had to for transactionally the the differentiation has to be there but Knowing differentiation, playing the game of life is different from taking the lad as a real versus the play. So play is not a problem, but taking the play as a real is a problem. Okay, let's do sloka 44. Gata swayam na janati, gatam swayam na janati, itchevam sattvam gata dishu. Chevam Sattvam Gathadishu Achetane Shudrashtam Che Achetane Shudrashtam Che Drushyatam Atma Sattvataha Drushyatam Atma Sattvataha Gatam Swayam Najanati Pot doesn't know that I am a pot. <laughs> Thank God. It won't allow us to use it otherwise. So pot doesn't know I am a pot. Itself, iti evam, in this way, svatvam, the selfness of any object, in a object, we don't see. Chair doesn't know, it's a chair, table doesn't know, chair. every object in the world doesn't know what they are. Ache is an issue, because they are not conscious entities. Drashtam chit, drushyatam atma sattvata. Ha. So, atma sattva, the, the uh, atma, the self is supporting it. Therefore, even though it doesn't know that I am a chair, but chair is supported by this is a chair, the easiness is supporting the chair. How is easiness supporting? You say chair is. If it is non-existent chair, you cannot say chair is because it's not there. So only existent object I say this is, this is, this is. So every object I pronounce as this is, this is. So there is an object as this, but I put name and a form beyond that. So there is a Samanya aspect of it and there is a Visishta aspect of it. So Visishta aspect keeps changing, but Samanya aspect has to be same again. So here Ghatam and pata, gata, pata, all those objects essentially, the pot and the cloth and all that, there is pot, there is ghatam, there is pardon me, pot and cloth. So there is an object and there is, there is, there is, there is, that is some, we cannot say some object which is there and say not there. That means existence has to be there for me to recognize its existence. So existence of an object is established by the presence of the existence. <laughs> Sat itself is a supporting the whole thing. That's what the implication is. So, Gataha Swayam Nanajati, the pot doesn't know that I am a pot. Right? But how do you know the pot is there? I have to tell the pot is there. So, I am a subject, I is trying to know that there is a pot and the pot existence is established by my knowledge of its existence. So, I have to begin. Sit quietly, okay? So, existence of a pot is established by knowledge of existence. Without that, existence of the object is indeterminate. So, you remember I gave an example. In the other room, is there a chair in the other room? So, how do you know? Is there a chair in the other room or not? So, chair doesn't say I am there. So, who has to say the chair is there or chair is not there? I have to go and see and then say, yes, there is a chair or no, there is a not chair. So, until then, the probability of the chair is there or not is 50%, right? So, it can be there, it need not be there. So, it's an indeterminate problem. It's only probabilistic. It becomes a deterministic when I go and see the chair. Yes, there is a chair or there is no chair. It becomes only deterministic when consciousness entity has to establish the existence of inner entity. 
Inert entity, conscious entity can establish the inert entity provided it is there. If it is not there, he cannot say establish, there is chair is there, unless I am dreaming. So, existence, I cannot bring a chair and say, chair is there. I am not creating a chair. I am only perceiving the chair of the existence. So, existence is being expressed as in the chair form for me to know that there is a chair. You follow this? All that. <laughs> That means consciousness at the time joining with the existence of this is for me to be conscious of the existence of this is. Right? Or I said, but that's what implication. So in every existence of an object, consciousness has to come in, I am has to come in to establish. But I don't create a chair and then say create chair is. It creates chair is from the Ishwara's creation. So it means beyond something. So therefore, the Ishwara's creation, even though it is there, I have to deal with it for me to know that it is there. So knowledge of the existence of an object can be established only through perceptual process or through other pramanas. So here, gataswayam najanati iti evams svatvam gathadishu. This is true for all objects. They don't declare themselves. They are there. But Consciousness is being expressed here as existence aspect only, not a conscious because the equipment is not suitable to express the consciousness, only expresses the existent part of it. So, so there is a problem with the consciousness, limitation of the consciousness. So here he gives you, this is because people ask question, consciousness, Satchidananda is everywhere, but all things are inner things, and how can you say consciousness is everywhere? So we don't say consciousness is everywhere, we say the truth is everywhere. What is truth? Satchidananda Swarupam. It is Satchit Ananda, all aspects of involved as Satta Eva Chit. So existence which is of the nature of the consciousness is there, but how come there will be unconscious entities? So here he gives an example, but we can say, suppose a simple example I can give you is, suppose there is a, uh, 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 three forms of carbon, you know, right? One is a diamond, another is the graphite, another is a charcoal. Okay, let's say three are three parts of the, all are carbon only. <laughs> you know, they are carbon, but there are three parts. And when there is no light, I cannot see neither diamond, nor graphite, nor the charcoal. So when I turn the light on, now of these three, they are expressing the light in three different ways. Same light. So you cannot blame the light problem. Light is pervading and is illuminating in everything in the world. But diamond is beautifully is being shown. And graphite is the next and the charcoal is absorbing all the light and it's only black. Right? So you cannot say that light is not illuminating everything. Light is illuminating everything. It has nothing to do with the light. Something to do with the nature of the object that is reflecting. Right? So, the diamond has the capacity to reflect such a way that the brilliance comes out of that, whereas the graphite has only smaller and even the other one is even more, much more duller. And therefore, it is nothing to do with the pure consciousness which is all pervading, depending upon the equipment that are reflecting the light of consciousness expression of the life is comes out when there is a subtle body the life is chaitanya swarupam otherwise it acts as an inert only so it is nothing to do with the with the with the with the consciousness that is all pervading it's something to do with the reflecting medium and the reflecting medium can be at different types so that's what he's going to discuss here in the next sloka chetana 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 chida Chetana Chetana Chidra Chetana Chetana Chidra 45 Okay Chetana Chetana Chidra Chetana Chetana Chida Kutas Tatma Krutana Hi Kutas 
कृतवीच वगम ओके चेतन अचेतन भिधा भिधा चिदा भिधा सो चेतन अचेतन भिधा दिधा इज अ डिफरेंस बिटवीन चेतना एंड अचेतना चेतना मीन्स कॉन्शियस एंटिटीज एंड अनकॉन्शियस एंटिटीज सो सेंटिट एंड नॉन सेंटिट कूटस्थ आत्मकृता नहीं इट डजन बिलोंग टू द कूटस्थ चैतन्यम द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कॉन्शियस एंटिटीज अनकॉन्शियस एंटिटी लिविंग एंटिटीज अनलिविंग एंटिटी और इनर्ट एंटिटीज दट those differences do not belong to the pure consciousness existence that is all pervading kintu because buddhi kruta buddhi kruta abhasa krutaihi abhasa krutaihi vecha avagamyatam vecha avagamyatam so abhata kruta which is due to the abhasa means sida bhasa reflected consciousness and that is due to buddhi kruta due to the buddhi conditioning of the buddhi so the idea is pure consciousness getting reflected in the buddhi first buddhya veva bhasita satyeshu pratibimbavatu so it is reflected in the buddhi then from the buddhi to intellect to the mind and the mind that is vijnanamaya to manomaya and then to annamaya kosha prana annamaya kosha so it is dribbling down all the way to the to the grosser and grosser uh, in the process so buddhi if it is a pure buddhi it reflects completely if it is dull buddhi then it only reflects partially so it is depends upon the the nature of the buddhi so purification all chitta suddhi is purification of the buddhi so that pure consciousness can beam through in all its glory so here he is attributing the differences between the chetana and achetana chetana means conscious entities and unconscious entities is nothing to do with the pure consciousness existence that is only due to reflecting media changes in the reflecting media some only reflect little bit some reflect some reflect only the existent part some reflect existent unconscious part and ananda part is even more difficult and for that i had to recognize that aham brahmasmi then ananda part is also good so it's only reflected ananda comes whenever i am getting happy with this 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 objects and i am still looking for pure ananda that i want to be pure anantattva me anandam therefore i want to be unlimited happiness which i cannot get by any process only by recognition that i am that ananda swarupam for that vedanta shravana is only means yatha chetana abhasa ha कूटस्ते भ्रांति कूटस्ते भ्रांति अचेतनो तथा तत्र कल सो यथा जस्ट एस चेतन आभासा द रिफ्लेक्टेड कॉन्शियस्नेस कूटस्थे इन द कूटस्थम भ्रांति कल्पिता इज सुपर इंपोज बिकॉज ऑफ दी द डेल्यूशन सीज सो वॉट इज द डेल्यूशन पार्ट एंड वॉट इज द इल्यूशन पार्ट सी आर द बुद्धि इज देयर सटल बॉडी इज देयर एंड इट गेट्स रिफ्लेक्टेड ना क्वेश्चन इज हाउ डिड द बुद्धि कम इन टू पिक्चर सो दैट अगेन यू हेव टू गो इन टू द होल क्रिएशन एस्पेक्ट of which you have the pure consciousness was all pervading and tad ichhada bahusyam pradayati it became many and in the becoming many there are the subtle elements and the gross elements and all that and anupravesha statement after creating the body the the subtle body entered into each body why did it enter why did he create that kind of buddhis why did he create that kind of bodies because These are all karma sambhavaha. In the eighth chapter, Gita, Krishna says, all the srishti is due to to karma. Means, vasanas there, right? Karma is the the the, the impurities that are there. So, how did the impurities come? Because of your own 
there is therefore there is a ahankara buddhi was there and ahankara buddhi when i perform an action with the egocentric action i create vasanas and that create becomes a sanjita karma and that is a cause for my creation for every time it goes on on so how did it start and we know the answer also it never started because it's a beginningless creation huh? because ignorance is beginningless so therefore this is beginningless creation and therefore where was the problem problem is the original whenever when the misunderstanding came so ajnanam ajnana janita karma all that are beginningless and that is what is the whole buddhi therefore it is kalpitaha kalpita means it's only creation kalpana means is only not real but appears to be real so only example that it can be is just like in the dream world in the dream in the dream world i am creating the whole universe as a, the waking mind is creating the whole waking mind itself cannot do it waking mind supported by i am the consciousness because the suppressions and oppressions of my waking world i am projecting so those are the vasanas that i am projecting the whole world of creation in my dream world but once i enter into this anupravesham enter into my own creation as one of the jivas in the creation forgetting that i myself created the whole world forget that i am only thinking that i am only a local subject suffering the whole world that is there in front of me exactly identical analogy that scripture tells therefore this is kalpana but as long as i am in dream i don't think dream is a dream it is a real so the world the forest the rivers everything hills and all that in the dream are real to me as a dreamer but the for me that's a real world in the same way i give the reality to the kalpitam from the mind point mind is not taking some forest and putting in my dream so it is only apparently real and appears to be real as long as i am in the dream until i am awakened to a higher state of consciousness to recognize that it is not really real but in the case of waking state i can develop that viveka huh? discriminative int i don't have to go to higher state in order to recognize that this is not real and vedanta is telling me aporshe vakyam is or vedanta is telling me that this is not really real what you seeing is only a projection kalpitaha so kutaste bhranti kalpitaha so bhranti is the the delusionary is so when i take the projection as a real the plurality that is there is projection as a real then it becomes delusion so illusion is seeing the plurality delusion is the seeing plurality is a reality is the bhranti achetano gatha discha tatha tatraiva kalpitah in the same way the parts etc gatha discha tatha in the same way tatraiva kalpitah tatraiva in the kutastha chaitanyam alone tatra here is kutastha chaitanyam alone kalpitah it is created how kutastha chaitanyam is thing but pure existent consciousness and that how do we you know all this because for that scripture alone is a pramana there is no other way to know this that's what it's to be done so how is it scripture tells you what was there before atma vedha idamagra masi or this is sadeva som idamagra masi existence alone was there or consciousness alone was there therefore these are statements by the scriptural statement so that becomes a basis for me to know this one otherwise i won't know that there is a pure consciousness and it created on that all this otherwise i'll be looking for what is the source of creation that's what the the science is trying to find out what is the fundamental creation without knowing the scriptures so therefore you cannot know the scriptures because this is something beyond the objective tools therefore you are caught up in that so that's why vedanta alone becomes a pramana for this yada chetana abhasah kutaste bhranti kalpitah achetano gadadischa so both the sensuous entities as well as unconscious entities both are come from the same source what is pure existent consciousness but from the pure existent consciousness it's not really there because from the brahman point there is no creation because the creation involves a modification and infinite cannot undergo modification but therefore but i am seeing it who is seeing the one who thinks there is a creation he is seeing it and for him the teaching is only for him teaching is not for the 
pure existent consciousness. Teaching is only for the one who is confused, thinking that creation is separate from him. Now comes a Puropachi. Puropachi is an objector. Tatte dante apiswatvam. Tatte dante apiswatvam. Ivam tvama, ivam tvama hamadishu. Ivam tvama hamadishu. Sarvatranu gati tena. Sarvatranu gati tena. Tayorapyatma ceti ced. Tayorapyatma ceti ced. So here, Sir, you are using the self, self, self in all. That is what you know, essentially, that's what uh, Chandogya also says. Aitad Atma Midagum Sarvam Tat Idagam Sarvam means that Atma, Aitad Atma Idam Sarvam. In, in all this Sarvam, the Atma, Atma means self, means the very existence is the self there. Right? So here, Tatte Dante Tatta Tatta. Idanta, tatta, idanta, tatta means thatness. Tatta, idanta, idanta, ta means ness. <laughs> so this is a nyaya, nyayas, nyayas. So when you add ness, it becomes the noun form. So for chair, there is a chairness. Chairness <laughs> is the is the jati of the chair. In all chairs, there is a chairness, right? That's called chair. In the human, there is a humanness, and that's what is called the ness part. So here he is talking about tatta and idanta. So this nessness part in thatness and thisness, he is saying. So idanta api swatvam eva just as the selfness is the tvam aham adishu with you with i tvam means you aham i etc sarvatra in all this in all persons say anugati this is a common factor just as thisness and thatness is there in every object this is a car this is the that is a chair all this there the existence part is being specified by thisness and thatness and in every I am, your name, there is a self is there because there is a conscious entity that is self. So, even the Maham Adishu, Sarvatra Anugati Tena, Tayo Rapyat Matedi Chit. So, Tayo Ho, Tena, Tayo Ho, in all this are indicated by this and that, Api, Atmata Idi Chit. So, it's indicated by Atma, the self, if you argue, then what happens? Then what about see in all that what you're saying is going to talk in the in the in the next sloka continuous, but objection has to be understood. It says you say there is a self in each one, but also there is a this, that, that also. This is a chair, this is a table, this is a this is also common. So this this part is also common, and existence part is also common. Why don't you say this is also infinite or oh, this is also putasta chaitanya why can't you use only why do you want to use only self or the essence of it essence is existence part alone as the putasta and not this part so here the he is going a little more te atmatve anugate Atmati vanagade tatte dante tatastayo tatte dante tatastayo atmatvam naiva sambhavyam atmatvam naiva sambhavyam samyaktva der yatha tatha samyaktva der yatha tatha so when he says this uh, that you cannot use the self as this and that what is self is only easiness not thisness. Thisness is different from thatness. <laughs> so thisness is qualifiable only because it differs from thatness. So this and that and that are not common. You can use this and that and therefore that is the, 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 the Thvampadartham for idam and 
tatte dante, you know, these are all tat 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 tam and tat and idam tam, both are. So, tatasa yoho, this is essentially, for that reason, this is tat is different from this. See, this devadatta is different from that devadatta. So, soyam devadatta, right? Soyam devadatta, this is that devadatta. That is a tattvamasi statement. So, this is that devadatta because this is devadatta is one aspect. That is devadatta is different aspect. When I say this is that devadatta, I am equating this devadatta and that devadatta. Because this devadatta is common factor, is there. But this devadatta looks different from that devadatta. There is a difference between this devadatta and that devadatta. Therefore, the question arises, is this devadatta same as that devadatta? Yes, yes, that cute little boy when he was carrying that, this, that devadatta is same as this sannyasi devadatta sitting here. So, this body, mind, intellect, everything is changed, but there is one common factor which is same, but thisness and thatness is different. But what we are doing is drop all those differences and only take the essential part in the equation. And that's what is called Bhagat Chagalakshana, right? So that's what is Tattvamasi involved. But here, therefore, Atmatvam, the essence is, is what is to be equated, not this part and that part. This part or that part are differences and differences have to be because they are can be dropped out because those differences are only superficial differences. Essence is the same. When I say this is that Devadatta, we are like, oh, this is that Devadatta. So we already dropped all the contradictory qualifications because they are not important. Even though this Devadatta looks from different from that Devadatta, those are not pertinent, they are not countable. What is countable is the essence of this Devadatta is same as that essence of that Devadatta. That's why when we say this whole world, this is same as that and this same, or he is same as that and he is same, when we talk about oneness, we are talking about Samanya Chaitanyam, which is commonness that I see unity in the diversity. But diversity is only for transactional purposes, I can use for transactions at the same time. I should be conscious of that which pervades everything as I am transacting in the world. That becomes a jnani. So Jivan Mukta is the one who recognizes the commonness that is pervading which is important thing. Just as I recognize it is this ring is also gold, bangle is also gold, necklace is also gold, base is also gold. Each one utility is different, transactional things are different, their birth of birth is different, all things attributes are different. Yet. I know essence is gold and that what counts, everything else don't count. The value depends upon the gold content, not the name and the form. So therefore, <coughs> once I understood, I give value to the value for what need to be given. Other one is still when ring has to be used as a ring and a bangle has to be used as a bangle and necklace has to. So there's no confusion in the, in the transactional world, but in essence, I have understood what is Atmatvam. So don't use this and that also. We have to use the essence which is isness. That is what is the essential truth that pervades. It's going, recording going on? Okay, that's good. <laughs> because if I had to, I had to redo it again. <laughs> Tatte Dante Swadhan Yatve Tate dante swadan yatve Twanta hante parasparam Twanta hante parasparam Pratid pratidvanvitaya loke Pratidvanvitaya loke Prasiddha nasti samsaya Prasiddha nasti samsaya Prasiddha nasti samsaya Okay All tata tata here uh, This is a Vijaranya speciality here, he uses the words, <laughs> difficult to pronounce. So, tatte dante swadanyante, swadanyatve. So, tatta idanta, tatte dante, tatta idanta. So, thatness and thisness. Pratidvanditaya. So, being pratidvand means opposite to each other. So, thisness and thatness are opposite to each other. So, what I discuss is being explained here. And Swata in the same way. So I amness, anyati, other than otherness, parasparam mutually is opposite. Essentially, is 
different pratidvandaya has to be used again so when i say i am this you are that he is this so all those qualifications belong to visishta chaitanyam not for the kamanya aspect of it samanya chaitan i am i am i am every somebody says i am is still there the conscious part is the same only visishta part is changing and that is op completely opposite to each one completely different from each other pratidvandvam just as this is chair this part that part that part keep changing that comes to the attributes of the chairness versus stableness versus all other nesses whereas the essence existence part doesn't change and prasiddhau nasti samshaya ha so therefore this we do not use this that as a common factor what is there is self which is beyond all that which is the same kotastham they all on the adhyasa bhasha aspect of sentences really anyataya pratidvandve anyataya pratidvand swayam kotastha ishyatam kotastha ishyatam tvam taya tvam taya pratiyogyesha tvam pratiyogyesha abhichatmani kalpitah abhichatmani kalpitah so here this is essentially concluding little bit so anyataya 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 means that otherness of all this pratidvandi otherness means thisness thatness all individual objects wise pratidvandi they are of opposite type swayam selfness is kutastha is chaitanyam ishatam is common to in all that so even when from the point of pure consciousness recognizing the unconscious entities let me go back if i say this is a chair chair doesn't say i am a chair so i am saying that this is a chair so i am a conscious part part of it and this is so that i am conscious of this is a chair that means i have a knowledge of this is a chair conscious means i have a knowledge of chair i have a knowledge of table i have a knowledge of every object in the world knowledge knowledge doesn't differ of differs knowledge of whatever things are different but consciousness that i am joining with the existence of the object in the names and forms for me to be conscious of the existence of names and forms names and forms are different consciousness existence don't differ all this is implied in every perception that's why padibodha viditam madam in the kena prashna says it is known in every knowledge So in every transaction, every everything I am seeing Brahman. Only I am ignoring Brahman. I am only paying attention to the Nama Rupa only. So if I start shifting my viveka, start paying attention to the common factor, which is more important factor, because that's what is like ignoring the gold and I only paying the ring and a bangle necklace. The names only I am giving importance, and that's all our problem is. The attachments is only for names and forms, not for the essence. and that is where it here swayam kutastha ishyatam tvam tayoho tvam tayoho tvam tayoho tvam means you so the tayoho tayoho means the yourness youness iness all those also is a single pratiyogi or different so yushma dashma pratyaya gocharayoho that's what Shankara starts with the adhyasa. So yushmat, ashmat, ashmat, ishmat, ainas, main, yourness, all those differences are only in the part of the superficial, this attributive content. And what is attributeless, which cannot be perceived, yet it is the essence of everything, is what is to be known. And that is what is this. This has to be recognized. So in that, all belong to Esha. is belong to chida basa atmani kalpita ha is superimposition on the on the kutastha chaitanyam so therefore aham iti atmani kalpitam aham iti atmani aham i am iti this all that from the point of conscious entities and from the point of unconscious entities all are is superimposition all names and forms and everything else any attributive content of the thing is belongs to the finite things 
and that is kalpana. Kalpana means is only project. Kalpana means it is appears to be there, but not really there. We'll take one more sloka. So it is same is explaining a little bit. Aham ta swata yor bedhe Aham ta swata yor bedhe Rupyate danta yoriva Rupyate danta yoriva Spashti pi mohama panna Spashti pi mohama panna Yekatvam prati pedire Yekatvam prati pedire so rupata, rupata means silveriness that we saw because uh, we are talking about shell and the silver. So the, sil the silveriness of the, of the object, silver, idanta, thisness, like that we are using this is silver, this part and the silveriness part except the ease part. So this ease part is coming from the existence part and that is from the Brahman. And other parts are only the differential part for silver. This is silver and this is shell. Once knowledge comes, so this and shell, because easiness is a common factor. And this is a tribute of the shell now, which before that a tribute of the, of the silver. So even like that is both aspects of the shell and the silverness is imposed. So rupata, idanta, eva is anrutam so ahanta swata yor bede rupyata anta yoriva spashte pi mohana panna ekatvam pratipadare so this same way ahanta this ayness swata yohu on the samanya chaitanyam i am so and so so in the pure existent consciousness i am superimposing i am this 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 part as ahankara part ahanta is ahankara part is in the same way, is first AP, is first term between one object or another, one, one person to other. And taking the differences is not a problem. Difference is natural. This part differs, chair differs from a table, table differs from the ring, differs from a, from a bangle. But the problem is, is Mohamapannam, taking that as a real is a problem. So plurality is not a problem. Plurality will still remain after Jnanam also. But what remains is the moham is part. So, nashto moha svatir labda tat prasade namaya achyata. Arjuna says in the end of all the teaching, I, my delusion is gone. But I do whatever you want me to do. That's what means I can still see the plurality, but the reality that I am attributing for all this, you know, this mine and yours and all that is gone. So, moham is delusion. And that is due to delusion. I am only taking this part and silver part as real, ignoring the one that really real. And this is so strong and that causes pratipedire. It's taken for granted as real and that is the bondage. Bondage is nothing but taking the plurality as a reality. There is no problem in having a plurality, but taking the problem is only taking the ekatvam one that is pervading everything is ignored and that which is only Nama Rupa is taken as a real and that is only the truth that is taken and that's where the problem is. So we stop here 51. So can you save that? Uh, we'll do. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnami va vasishyate Om Shanti Shanti Hari Om Sri Guru Bhyo Namaha Hari Om Okay, we'll meet tomorrow evening for Ashtavakra Gita. And the people are on vacation or continuing vacation Labor Day weekend. <laughs> Not I